In the message today, I just want to impress on our hearts a one simple truth. And it is this, that God can cause you and me to be fruitful in famine. I want to read a, a, a little uh, incident from Genesis, the 26th chapter. And then I just want to share with us simple uh, insights from this chapter, or what I will call as keys that will enable us to be fruitful even in the time of famine. The first thing is this, we must learn to listen to God. So the beautiful thing for us as New Testament believers is that you and I, every believer, has the privilege of being led by God. God knows where you need to be. God knows what you should be doing. God knows what it's gonna take for you to be fruitful. Now it's for you and me to listen to God and say, God, please tell me, what do you want me to do to be fruitful? Don't leave your inheritance. So that's the second key. If you and I want us to be fruitful, want us want to be fruitful in the time of famine, we must learn to stand our ground, to stay rooted in our call, to stay rooted in, in, our, in, the, in the purpose of God for our lives and not give up. There may be times when God tells us to make changes in the activities we are doing, in the methods we may be uh, you know, engaging with, there may be those kinds of changes, but he's not changing your call. He's not saying give up on your call or give up on your dream. You may change, you know, certain ways of getting there, but you're not giving up on that dream that God has put in your life. Believe in the covenant that God has with you. And that's what God is telling Isaac. Isaac, I have made a covenant. I have an oath that I've made with Abraham, your father, and I will keep that I will perform that oath. I will keep that covenant with you and I will establish you. In other words, I know there is famine around, but you are in covenant with me. I'm in covenant with you. I will take care of you. We have a covenant with God and God's covenant with us is so sure that if we believe it, God will perform his covenant to us even in times of famine because God is not constrained by all the things that, that the famine would impose on us or, or on people around us. God is superior. God is much greater than all these things around us. And all he's telling you and me to do is believe my covenant. We must know we have a covenant with God and God will perform his covenant in your life. Here's the fourth key. So and expect to be fruitful. Now by sowing, sowing is an expression of expectation. When you're sowing, when somebody puts seed in the ground, they're expecting, it's, they're expressing an expectation that this seed is going to grow up and it is going to produce something. In the time of famine, things are difficult. You're listening to God. You are holding on to your life assignment. You're holding on to the call of God. You're not giving up. You are believing in the covenant of God. You're believing that God will cause you to be fruitful. You're believing that even the time of famine, God will, will, will bless you. You're believing in your covenant with God. If God is telling you to do something new, you step up there and you do it. And saying, God, I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep doing this. I'm sowing because I'm expecting you to cause me to be fruitful. Between your sowing and your harvest of fruitfulness, there is a process. You know, nobody sows a seed today and sees a harvest in two hours or the next day. That doesn't happen. There is a process. The process is that of continuing to water the seed, continuing to nurture and continuing to protect. So you sow in tears, but you know you're going to reap in joy. And you're willing to go through that process of nurturing, of watering, and protecting your seed, your, your whatever you're doing, because you know you're going to be fruitful in the end. God has promised to bless you. Just as he did it for Isaac, he will do it for you. You and I are expecting to be fruitful in the, in, in the time of famine, you and I are expecting God to cause us to be fruitful uh, in these times. So here's what I want us to understand. God will, can cause you and me to be fruitful in the time of famine. 